Not the church choir. Truth be told. Solo. Solo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. So you started singing from church? No. All right. Uh, I do. I used to sing. Anytime I, I, I hear songs that moves me from my kid, childhood, sorry, I just go along it. But I didn't really take, I didn't take myself personally, like seriously mm. when I was a kid. I didn't even know that I had a gift. Okay. It was, I remember it was at school, Takwa Secondary School. And a pastor told me that after school, this is what you are going to do. This is what you are going to hey, do. Hey, so and you got a prophecy. Yeah, yeah. Like somebody singing about Shatawale. <laughs> and I thought he was joking because I, I had no plans in going into music. But seriously, what he said exactly came, and that's what happened. Wow. After school, I entered into the industry. I went through some auditions, took some competitions before even mentor. And I've been at the background backing the artist, you know, so I picked myself from there gradually, gradually, mm. gradually, gradually. And it's, it has been a very learning process for me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you went to X Factor. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. hmm. How did that go? X Factor was very tough. In fact, hmm. X Factor was tough. <laughs> Why did you say it was tough? <laughs> I think compared to mentor, hmm, the auditioning was was tough. The yeah. tension they will give you, the, th the kind of tensions you have to go through, is something else. But it's, a, it's also another experience I got okay. from that. Do you remember the, the song that you sang when you were auditioning for The X Factor? Which one? <laughs> I sang plenty. Yeah? Yeah. You Which auditioning? One? The very first auditioning, right? That was not the first auditioning. The Eight. one on TV. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, that was not the first auditioning. Oh, so auditioning. you went through... Series. Series. Oh. The, series auditioners. How many? Hmm. The first one was three auditioners at a go. Okay. The first one. The way they go about... It's, it's, it's tough. So this is intense. You start... <laughs> you start running. You know, yeah. like... You got, you, people were running through the bathhouse... And coming in, seriously, it was really tough. It was, it's not the one that you go in one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. you know. The judges are already, the voice coaches are already sitting down in line. Okay. So they, we are already, we are, we, we are in queues. This one, you, you can see someone singing in front of you. The person is extremely good and they tell you that, no, go away. Yeah. I have a memory. I've got something. I want you, to, I want to play it and then you tell us at what stage this happened. <laughs> you remember this, AC? <laughs> this was number one. <laughs> this is it's bringing back memories, right? What do you remember about this particular that competition? particular day was really, really. I wanted to go back home. Yeah, because these people are just making me feel down 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 yeah. down yeah but like you're not enough i i don't blame them i think i i myself carried myself that way i always portray myself that way in the sight of people and so you know human beings we see appearances and we don't see the real person within so yeah um i was given that kind of you know attention at a point and and X Factor is tough. X, X Factor, they are not only looking for singing. They are looking for something real, you know. They want passion. Okay. They are looking for passion. What have you done before? What What are the, the things, what is the things that you have gone through nobody has done? What's the things that you have sacrificed your life for, you know? Mm. They ask questions like that. And then also go quest, asking questions of things that have you've gone through that you feel like it never should have happened. Okay. And... If you don't give in answers, they are not going to pick you. Uh, so you okay. have to take the risk. Whether it's going to go against you or not, you take the risk because you will know what you want. Mm. So let's, let's, talk, let's talk about things that have happened to you that, you know, shouldn't have happened. I wish I could open up to talk, be personal. Mm. And um, if you, I know you have, you, whilst you are playing this thing, you, 
you know that they interviewed me. I spoke before I went on stage. So I said a couple of things about myself, which I have decided not to talk about on air. But it's not bad. I want to talk about it because it's about time we stand for the right thing as women. Mm. You understand? Um, I have been, I've gone through rape before, and I know the experience when it comes to rape. I feel like it is about time Ghanaians or Africans, especially Ghanaian women, we have to stand and work and find, we have to work on these things, call rape. We have to address these issues as the way as it is and solve them. There are little, little children that their parents are sleeping with them, their fathers are sleeping with them. You understand? And they can't talk about it because when they come out, they say, oh, any on yet. That kind of thing is not the best. We need to address these issues and find solutions to these issues. Mm-hmm. So why don't you share with us exactly what happened to you? How did it happen? I, I don't want to go back to my my past yeah. because it's it's very but, emotional but you, but you for me. But you want your past to be a lesson for people. For people, yes. exactly. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm asking if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. You know, what have, how long ago did this happen, by the way? Oh, I think I was at the age of 19, 18, 19, thereabouts, um, at SS. Okay. And this was somebody close? Yes, somebody I know in my area. Um, I, I, I was too naive at that time. I was okay. too, too, too way naive. Too naive at that time. Did and you tell somebody? It, it came out. My parents got to know you understand and we handle it but it had it I, I didn't learn a lesson from that i should have been more wise from there but i didn't learn a lesson from that i was still so stupid and naive at that time because i was young you know i want to say that I, it's not the me narrating what really happened mm-hmm. what really worries me is we need to work stop these things we, we, so, not, we so, need to solve so these what, things. what if, if you were matured enough at the time? And I don't like you blaming yourself, you know. I, I don't want you to look back and blame yourself and say that I was naive, I shouldn't have done this, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I feel, you know, that everything happens for a reason, even though some may bad. Yes. I mean, it builds you up. Of course. Sometimes of course. you may not even recognize it. But if, if you were matured in your own terms, what would you have done differently? If somebody is at that point where you were that you described at that time as, as naive, what would you have done? I will report it. I would like to report it. To the, the police? Pe- yes, okay. first of all. I will report it. Mm-hmm. I won't keep it. Any, I wouldn't like to keep it like I did. Okay, yeah. so this was handled, you know, like families and outside of mm-hmm. the court and the police. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Did it affect you in any way? Mm-hmm. Yes, it did. Um, at a point, I, I, I saw men differently. Um, I have my own perception about men. <laughs> But as I grew up, I realized that, no, it's part of life. Anything happens, for, everything happens for a reason, right? Mm. So it's, it's happened into my end with me for a reason, for me to learn something. Probably God wants me to be there to help others that are going through these things. Yeah, so it's, it's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah. It's really, it's both positive and negative, negative yeah. yes. But mm. all men are but not the same. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But... You know, maybe somebody needed to hear your story today here on the show at this Mm -hmm. particular time. Mm -hmm. You never know. I mean, it's just me and you. Okay. But you never know who could be listening right now, who needs this particular message. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So, I don't know. Can it all be positive? You're an ambassador. You know? Okay. Daddy is molesting you. If some old man is there molesting you, telling you that, oh, when you say it, you will die. Put in fear in you. Please try. Tell mommy. Find someone that you can really confide in. Tell somebody. Because if you don't, this thing can destroy your life. Please open up. Don't, don't be afraid to tell somebody, somebody is doing this to me and I'm not happy about it. Don't be afraid. Forget about what we will think. What we will say, go ahead and say it. 
that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. The more you say it, the more you get it out of your system and you get help. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you, it's, it's very important mm -hmm. you have to come out and then share what your problem is with your mom, somebody you can trust. Don't just tell anybody. Somebody you can really, really trust. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm.